Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. We bless Jesus for giving us another opportunity to see this day. It's such a lovely morning in his presence. And God is good and his mercy is enduring forever. Uh, this morning, I just have a simple message like I feel in me to share with somebody. And uh, it's concerning things that are happening around the world, around the globe. And it's high time believers take their space and just understand our assignments. We are not on this earth to defend the world or to defend the things and the systems of doing things in the world. We are here as ambassadors for Christ. We are here to defend the kingdom. We are here to represent the agenda of God. That's why we are in this world. Last night, I uh, had uh, this powerful dream, like a revelation from God. And uh, I thought it's good for us to note so that when we listen to things, when we listen to content, when we listen to music, we don't just think that uh, we are getting entertained. There is a deeper meaning to something more than you can see. There is a big meaning to something beyond the physical appearance of that thing. Okay, let me ask you this question. If I wanted to poison a person right now, or maybe if somebody, go forbid, but um, if somebody wanted to poison you, they wouldn't give you poison direct. Otherwise, you will suspect. They wouldn't even bring to you a bad meal. They will really prepare something nice that you cannot even suspect that there is poison within it. And that is how many people get poisoned by uh, uh, through food. That's how people get poisoned. So literally, what uh, what happens now in, uh, in the entertainment sector or maybe in the music entertainment industry, all these things is just a sugar coating of the poison within a very nice meal. And last night I had a revelation of a dream of how secular music is sending people to hell. And in this dream, it kind of scared me, and uh, and I felt that this message is for the body of Christ. As far as it was me that saw it, but um, I feel like believers should notice. In that environment, I saw many people that were singing after a certain artist and every time they were singing songs the meaning of our song spiritually was not the meaning of our song physically in the physical there was very nice lyrics talking about general things the things we like the things we even defend that that artist is good he's okay come on who, who does this who speaks like this this guy is speaking good things a song has good lyrics like look at these you know we just defend them because we literally can see physically that there's nothing wrong with their lyrics. But what I saw in the spirit was a total different thing. This artist was singing lyrics as normal as they do. But in the spirit, the meaning of the song was like, drag me to hell where no one can defend me. Where, in other words, it, it was like, drag me to hell where there's no protection. Drag me to hell where nobody can protect me that's what people were saying and then after that moment i saw like a huge demon that had a tail that looked like a tail that was alive it was a long tail and that tail would drag people everyone around the influence of that song everyone under the influence of that song that artist is like this demon would capture you by its tail the tail was alive like a huge snake or something yeah and it would drag you and people did not know that the more they were singing these songs, the more that demon would drag people to hell. And I felt in me right within that dream that the covenant behind the songs are the real meanings of the songs, not the lyrics. Most artists sugarcoat lyrics. They sugarcoat the real thing behind good lyrics. They know what they are doing. No wonder people go to music concerts and come back with depression. People listen to songs and commit suicide. People listen to songs and become poor. People listen to songs and they reject God. They begin rejecting church. People listen to songs and they begin fighting leadership. They become rebellious. People become hard-headed. Their hearts become hard. And they just listen to songs. And you want to tell me that it's just a song? Just a song? That is not just a song. An artist will come and perform. And literally after leaving, cases of teen pregnancies, STIs grow in that environment, grow in that area. Why? 
because the demons of immorality were being propagated through songs. Some artists will come and the rate of drug addictions will be high where their songs are listened to because it is no longer about the song but the spirit behind uh, that song. Other, other artists will come and immediately you begin to hear divorces in that environment. People begin divorcing. Wives leaving their husbands. People begin cheating, infidelity, fornication, adultery. It was a result of the spiritual energy that song is coming from. Dear believers, you wonder why will a Christian sit down for hours defending an artist? Because you know his lyrics are like this. His song is not bad. Come on, listen. He is only talking about love. He is only talking about this. And the same Christian cannot sit down to defend the word. The same Christian cannot sit down in circles to defend the word of God. You so defend an artist saying that his lyrics are good so his song cannot be bad. But I've never heard such Christians sitting down to defend the word of God. This morning, dear believers, let her rise. Let not listen. Let not hear, let not engage, let not indulge without knowledge. This is my message this morning. The meaning of something, the real meaning of a thing is its spiritual covenant. It, it's covenant. The covenant behind that thing is real meaning. The real meaning of a song, the real meaning of music, the real meaning of anything you call entertainment is not really what you see. It's not the sugar coat in beard lyrics and videos, but really. The covenant behind that thing. The covenant behind that artist. So most artists know that they are under covenants. And their covenants influence people. That's why people go to music concerts and there are impartations that happen. Just like when we worship God, we see healing. Last Friday we had a wonderful moment of worship. And that night we saw healings. People begin giving financial testimonies. Business standing around. Like literally from that worship environment. This week, even in our business, we are seeing strange outcomes. It means there was a spiritual energy that was required to move certain results. So those were not just songs we sang. It was a spiritual environment. So just like these songs would give that demon an opportunity and a, a chance to drag people to hell. Just like these songs would give demons a room in the life for people to do impartations and give them characters, behaviors, actions that drive people to hell. Likewise, worship to God gives God a platform to reach his people. When we deeply worship God, when we worship God, God gains access to the hearts of men. So dear people, music is not just an art. Music is a vehicle. It transports people into a reality. Music is a dimension. Music is an open of dimensions. When people sing music, they are literally Allowing the spirit of the music to enter them into the dimensions of that music. What happens when people listen to a song? They are just entering hey, the dimension of a song. So don't just love the artist. Don't just like the artist. The way they dress. The way they say. The way they are so calm when they appear to you. The way they just present their lyrics. But the command behind them matters. So dear brothers, secular music is not a chance play. People are being dragged to hell by songs. Songs are dragging people to hell than you can emerge. So believers, let's be careful. Let entertain godly music. Let listen to worship. Our music is enough. The children of Israel, when they were in captivity, the Babylonians were forcing them to sing songs that they used to sing to their gods. But they responded and said, we cannot sing the songs of our God in a foreign land. That means there's something about music and an environment. They will not sing the music of God in a wrong environment. Likewise, there are songs you listen to and the environment around your life is poor. There is an artist you will follow and you will know divorce in your family. There is an artist you will listen to and immediately you begin fornicating. There is an artist you will listen to and immediately depression. There is an artist you will listen to and immediately you begin to fail in business. You begin to fail. You become dumb. There is an artist you listen to and you begin to rebel against God. Your prayer life goes down. Your spiritual work with God is quietened. So, dear believers, dear brethren, dear brothers and sisters, let's not just entertain music as an art. Let's know that music is a vehicle. When those who are spiritually sharp understand that songs are being used to propagate demonic cultures in our generation. Look at the 90% of the influence around the world today. is music, music, music. The culture of dressing, 
the culture of behavior, family life, all this influence behind social media and stuff, all the things that people are doing, they are mainly propagated behind music. So music is not just an art. Music is not just, a, just an entertainment. Music is a force. Music is a real. This music is a covenant. Father God, we bless you and we honor your name. I pray for everyone that has seen this, that you give us grace to live for you in this perverse generation. That in times like this, our light will shine so bright that it will be seen in the name of Jesus. That we represent a kingdom that is higher than the kingdom of his world. I pray that in the name of Jesus, from today we receive grace to live the kingdom life. To enforce the will of God in our generation, in our times, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for from today, all these desires that are propagated demonically to pull us away from you, to pull us away from your presence, to pull us away from your influence, they now lose their power. We remain connected to Jesus, and the only influence we are under is the influence of the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your power and grace is all we will leverage on in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, and we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is Brother Atherton Wisdom. And briefly, I hope I was clear. May God give us grace to live for him. Thank you so much and may God bless you.